NBA in-season tournament, Lakers take LeBron James Kevin Durant duel, while Clippers stumble hard. The second day of the NBA in-season tournament saw LeBron James and Kevin Durant nearly combine to score their ages, with the Los Angeles Lakers pulling out a much needed 122 to 119 comeback win in a battle between two future Hall of Famers. The Lakers entered Friday on a three-game losing streak and responded by swapping out Austin Reeves, whom they just gave $56 million, for Cam Reddish. The Phoenix Suns were still without Devin Booker, but it didn't look like a huge issue for most of the night. Phoenix held a 10-point lead late in the third quarter, but the Lakers finally clicked and outscored them 33-23 in the fourth. James finished with 32 points, 11 rebounds and 6 assists, while Durant had 38 points, 9 rebounds and 5 assists. Elsewhere in the West, the Los Angeles Clippers moved to 0-3 since adding James Harden to their lineup, and this was their worst loss of all. Facing the Dallas Mavericks, the Clippers took a double-digit lead late in the first quarter and then, well, became incapable of stopping the Mavericks from putting the ball in the basket. Less than two minutes into the second quarter, the Mavericks took the lead. Four minutes later, they were up by 19. At halftime, they led by 26. The Mavericks' lead peaked at 32 points. The big night was powered by a 44-point performance from Luka Doncic on 17 of 21 shooting. Unsurprisingly, the team starting Harden and Russell Westbrook had issues keeping Dallas in front of them. The Clippers can only hope the team gels once Harden gets more than a week with the team under his belt, but there were concerns around his fit at the time of the trade that becoming mighty loud. Earlier, the Minnesota Timberwolves win the battle of the French seven-footers, but not for lack of trying from Victor Vembanyama. The T-Wolves defeated the San Antonio Spurs 117-110 in the second day of the NBA's new tournament, in which games count for both the regular season and in a group play that will decide the eight-team field in the knockout stages in December. Carl Anthony Towns and Anthony Edwards combined for 57 points in the win, Minnesota's fifth straight, while Vembanyama had one of the more productive games of his young career with 29 points on 12 of 21 shooting, 3 of 7 from 3-point range, with 9 rebounds, 4 assists, and 4 blocks.